Hello, and welcome to this demonstration of the Google for Work dashboard integration. Have you ever wanted to create a report in Workforce Ready that you couldn't because there wasn't a single report that combined all of the fields that you needed, even though you know the fields are there? Have you ever wanted to create your own charts and graphs based on data in the system, but felt restricted by the existing options? Well, for Google for Work users, that time has come. Imagine, if you will, taking reports from Workforce Ready, multiple saved reports, pulling them out of Ready and into Google Sheets, where that report data is then tied together through formulas into a single sheet or chart or charts. Next, that mashup worksheet is viewed inside a Workforce Ready dashboard widget. So for example, let's say I need to combine data from the following reports. I've got an employee listing, performance data, current year to date and previous year to date, and a base comp report. And I want to get all of that into a single report. Or maybe I'd like to see a chart showing the number of employees grouped by years of service. So before we begin, let me show you the final results so you can see where we're headed. First, I'll show you the Google Sheets I've created and which update automatically when changes are made in the system. So here on this sheet, you'll see a chart that I've created based upon data from Workforce Ready. I've pulled that into uh, information in the way I want to see that viewed and the resulting chart we'll be able to see in Ready. Or this other sheet that I've created where I'm pulling multiple reports here. You can see at the bottom I've got multiple reports pulled in from Ready, and I'm pulling all those reports together on this front sheet and even creating a chart from that at the same time. Now, if I look at what I can see in Ready, here I can see that dashboard widget, or that sheet as a dashboard widget here. I'll go into this other tab here where I've got that full mashup of the other report, the five reports put together into a single report that's available here and can be viewed on the dashboard within Ready as well as the chart. And I could add multiple charts here as well on this single view in this widget. And these sheets are updated based on a schedule determined by the customer, so they can always be seeing the most up-to-date information. So if you're interested in seeing what can be done alone, you can stop watching now. You can kind of see what's available. But if you want to see the detailed process of setting it up, keep watching. So first, I would create saved reports in Workforce Ready following the typical process for doing so. So you can see here, I've got five different reports that I've created, and I've started them all with the prefix GFW so that I can easily find these later when I'm pulling these reports out of the list of all the reports that I have saved under this user. Now, there are several steps towards setting up our widget. As some of these steps are a little technical, they would typically be performed by a Kronos integration consultant or by a customer's IT department. While this functionality is open to anyone, the level of engagement here for the setup may feel a little advanced for the average customer admin. So let's start with this empty dashboard other, and we'll plan to put our new sheet here. To start, I'm going to go into the marketplace under the installed Google for Work integration. And here I'll be able to find instructions available uh, these will be available in each language that Workforce Ready is available in today. And so I'm first going to grab the report loader instructions. And I'm also going to go ahead and download the report loader Google script. So first we'll go ahead and open up the instructions here. I'm going to go ahead and put these on the side here so you can kind of see these as we go through them. So first thing I'm going to start with the new spreadsheet. I'll come in here and create a new spreadsheet first. I can go ahead and get rid of these other two for now. And we can go ahead and give this a name. Under Tools, I'm going to go to the Script Editor. And I'm going to delete the information that's in here. This is where I'm going to open up the other file that I downloaded uh, from the Marketplace. I'm going to hit Control a to highlight everything in here and Control c to copy that. And now I'm going to paste that information into the code here. And I'm going to save this. I can give it a name here if I want. I'll call it mashup. And we'll see down here, the next step is to run the installation. So I'm going to, under select function, select on install, and click the run button here. 
and you'll see that it requires authorization. I'm going to click Review Permissions, and I'm going to Allow. Next thing we need to do is to provide project permissions. So we're going to come under Project Properties, under Script Properties, and here we're going to put in our configuration. And that may be Secure 2 or Secure 3, or maybe the EU server as well. I'm going to enter in my company name here, the user, and up here I'm going to enter the password and click Save. That's everything we need to do within this script now. So I'm just going to hit Save and close out the script. And you'll see now in our spreadsheet that we now have a new menu item called WFR Report Export. If I click on this menu item and then click on Export Report List, this is going to go out and get a list of all of the saved reports that I have available for this user. Now this report can use up to five of those reports. I've actually got these sorted. I'm going to go ahead and sort this so that I can quickly find the Google to work ones that I created here together, and I'm going to delete all the rest. So now I just have the the one to five reports that I would like to have available for this report. So now under our, our menu item, you'll see that we, we can manually export this. This talks about the manual export and the scheduled export and how to set up both of those. We'll start with the manual export just so you can see what happens here. We'll go ahead and click on export now. And this so is actually kind of fun to just actually watch this populate. You'll see new tabs being added at the bottom and the data just being populated, uh, grabbing that data directly from Ready and populating the spreadsheet. All right, so it's done. You can see here that it's created the five different spreadsheets we have. And also, back on our reports tab, you can see that it also updates this sheet, the date stamp that HDS was last updated. So we have that information available. And in order to keep this, if we want to have this automatically update on a daily basis, for example, we'll be able to set that up. So now we're going to go to our first sheet. And this is the sheet that we're going to want to actually appear on the dashboard. So this will be our, our mashup, if you will. I'm just going to actually just take a couple simple fields. We're going to do this by formula. So I'm going to say that this field is equal to, I'm going to grab actually the first field there. It's covered up. So we've got employee ID. And I also want to grab first name and the last name. And let's also grab length of service here. And now maybe we also want to grab something from, let's grab the base comp. Now, for each of these first ones, this is basically just going to be a simple copy because we've got every employee that we have. I'm also going to copy it down. I'm going to go a few more records than we actually have available. So I'm going to go ahead and go to 100 so that if more employees get added down the line, this, this sheet here is already going to be of catching more lines if, if and as they come up. You know, so they're just going to look blank, but the formula is there. In case this list grows, uh, this list will already be able to handle it. Now, in this field, I'm just going to do a, a VLOOKUP on the employee ID in the base comp table. Again, I'm going to go down to 100 rows to allow for future employees. I'm going to hit F4 to make that not relative cells, and a fifth column, and an exact match, so false. And then I'm also going to do an if error on here. So just in case this an employee is not in that table, we'll get a blank instead of, a, instead of an error. Go ahead and copy that down again to 100 rows. And then we can also format that if we want.
And if we want to give our our headers a little bit better look here, we can maybe make them a little bit bigger and inverse the colors here, whatever we want. And I will go ahead and, and obviously we could we could we could do more things with the reports that are in here. We could tie in other columns and do it, but you get the idea. So I won't uh, go through all of that. But now let's talk about the updating. So we're going to go back into our script editor and we're going to talk about how we make this run as a scheduled export. And you can see again, those instructions are over here. But we'll open the script editor and we're going to go to the clock icon here for the project's triggers. And this is where we can add a trigger. A trigger is going to be something that's going to make that run. And just using the instructions, what we want here is the menu export now. We're going to make that time driven. And just for the purposes of this example, I'm going to make it run every minute. Obviously, you wouldn't want to do this. This would take up a lot of bandwidth for the customer and for SSHR. So you'd want to set this maybe more like once a day, potentially a little bit more than that if it's something that urgent. But we want it to run as little as possible because it's, it's going to be using resources. But we'll set this trigger up every minute for just now, just so we can demonstrate how this works. So I'll go ahead and save and close this. And you'll see that this refreshes itself automatically. So now let's see how we're going to move this into the application and how this works here. So we'll go back to the dashboard. And here's our empty widget. We're going to go in to configure this widget now. And we're going to choose the Google Sheet. And I'll go ahead and, and pull that from the place where I saved that. And here's our demo mashup. I'm going to select that file and click Save. And you'll see it pulls that file right in. Now, again, just to, to show how the updating works, let's just take, for example, notice that Kathy Lance's years of service right now is 10 years, 7 months. I'm just going to hop in over here, and I'm actually going to change her start date so we can see that that does actually update that very quickly based upon the, the time frame that's set up there. But let's go ahead and just change her hire date from 2005 to 2010. So instead of 10 years, it's just going to be have five years in the length of service. So as I jump back over here, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to hit this refresh here. And you'll see that already it's, it's got that new information here. We can see that that is now five years. So just to clarify, this refresh button here is refreshing the Google Sheet, the display here. So we're going back to see, which is going to happen at the same time I come back. Anytime I come back to the screen, if I, if I go out, I log back in, or I go back to the dashboard you know, by hitting the, the icon up there. Either way, that's going to refresh this screen from, it's not going to refresh the reports inside the sheet, but it's going to refresh the view of the sheet itself. So with that, I'm going to close this. I'm going to go back to the full screen view here, go back to this report. And just to talk about a couple of things here, again, one, the biggest thing that I'm excited about this functionality is just that I believe customers will be able to think of many different ways they can use this. So in addition to the couple of examples we've, we've thought of here, being able to create their own charts or being able to mash up reports, they can also integrate workforce ready data with other systems that they have and be able to use this with other tools such as Zapier or other, other things that can grab information from other sources that the customer might have and be able to bring all that data together into a dashboard widget within workforce ready. So a very powerful tool. I think we'll see customers start to use this in ways that we haven't even conceived yet and really opening the door on this. So a couple other questions that might come up. One, you know, can reports be shared? Absolutely. There's a couple things to keep in mind. That sharing is done first in Google, and so then a shared sheet can be brought into a widget. So just keep in mind that the security on the sheet will be tied to the account used to pull the data. So one needs to be kind of careful about what data is shared via Google Sheets. So if I'm an administrator and I pulled wage information, for example, and then I share that Google Sheet with somebody else. Obviously, it's, it's not about workforce ready security. It's about the fact that I'm sharing a, a, a Google Sheet that has information on it. So they just want to be careful what sheets they share and what data is on those sheets. But if they share those sheets and that link then is used in the, in the dashboard in the widget configuration here. So as long as I have, I have access to the sheet, multiple people can use the same link to that single report, which is updated on its own regular basis. And all employees linked to that could have could take the advantage of that. And as with all widgets, you know, defaults can be set up in the security profile and pushed out to all users. So again, just keep in mind that all users 
must already have access to that shared link on the Google side. But if they do, we'll be able to support that. So that is the new Google Dashboard widget functionality. Uh, I hope you're as excited about it as I am, and I'm excited to see how customers are able to use this. Thank you, and have a great day.